guys so today's video is going to be a Q&A we asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram and ask FM and there's quite a few of them so we're just gonna jump right into the video so the first question is how did we find rumor and what made us choose rumor we get this question quite a lot so we actually found him on a horse classifieds thing called horse council BC um, and we just found him he was like one of the very few horses that kind of fit our criteria and was in our price range we wanted something that was like pretty well trained and easy to ride for our first horse. Um, and yeah, so we just found him on there, gave the trainer an email, and then we got our trainer to come out and try him with us. And we, we only rode him one time before we bought him, which like I feel like people usually try, like, try the horse out a couple times. But um, we just kind of knew that he was the right one because he was just like really kind of school mastery but still had things that we could work on, so not too boring. Um, and then we just got the vet check done, I think the following week. Our trainer came out with us again for that and everything was good, so then we picked him up the week after that. The next question is, how long have we owned Rumor? And we bought him in March 2015, so we haven't even owned him for a year yet, so not very long, a couple months. This question is, what is Rumor's age, height, breed, and color? So he is 14 years old and he's a Holsteiner cross thoroughbred and he is a bay and how, oh and he's 16 two hands high yeah so this is also a question that we get a ton um is how do we share rumor uh, it's really not that hard for us we each ride him like about three days a week we each take one lesson a week on him and we just like alternate days depending on who's working and who's not it's pretty easy for us to share him and it's financially a better choice right now but hopefully in the future we will have two horses Next question is, would you ever ride Western? And definitely we would. Um, we're thinking that we might want our second horse to be a Western horse, but we're not really sure. It kind of depends what we're doing then. Um, but yeah, we want to go on like trail rides and go to Dude Ranch and stuff because it looks like lots of fun. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind trying out reining if we got a horse that was like good at it yeah. and if we find a reining trainer. But yeah, I've always been really interested in Western riding as well. The next question from Instagram is, how often do we deworm Rumor and what do we use? And we haven't actually dewormed him yet because usually deworm in the spring and the fall and we got him like during the spring, I guess. So mm -hmm. um, we're probably just gonna ask our vet what to do. I know a lot of people like just go to the tax store and like buy whatever's on sale, but like it's really bad to just like use the same dewormer over and over again because they'll start getting resistant to it. So I'd really just recommend asking your vet or even better getting a fecal egg count done on your horse because you might not even need to deworm your horse. Well, the next question that we get a lot is are you going to be showing rumor? And we definitely plan on it. We're hoping to start showing next year in the low level hunters. So we'll see how that goes. The next question is do you ever plan on selling rumor and can you say hi Alyssa? Hi Alyssa. Hi Alyssa. <laughs> and um, I don't think we do plan on selling Rumor. We're probably just going to keep him until he's very old and until he dies, which is sad to think about. But um, <laughs> once he, we can't ride him anymore or he's retired, we're just hopefully we'll have a property by then. He can just live in our big field and be a horse. Yeah. The next question is what is Thunderbird like and what's the atmosphere like and is it a good place to show? So Thunderbird Show Park is just a show park in our area. And we definitely recommend it. It's a really nice venue. I think it's number two in North America, so it's pretty nice. And there's a lot of good competition if you're into that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, a lot of like Grand Prix riders um, compete there as well, but they also have a lot of lower level shows. So if it's like your first time showing or whatever, you don't have to like feel like you're gonna be outstaged by anyone. They have yeah. lots of like more affordable classes too. So. Yeah good for everyone. Next question is, what is your opinion on jumping Arabian horses and what do you think about the breed in general? Um, we love Arabian. Yeah. <laughs> we pretty much love every breed of horse. <laughs> we don't discriminate. No. But um, yeah, if your Arabian can jump, why not? You can jump your Arabian. Yeah. And they're like really good at endurance and stuff, right? So there's like no reason why they couldn't jump, I don't think. The next question is how long have you been riding and we think it's been about four years. We started riding when we were like 11 or something but didn't really take lessons or anything and then we stopped riding after that until we were about like 19, 18 or 19 so yeah it's been about four years that we've been taking consistent riding lessons. The next question is, have you ever fallen off Rumor? And luckily we both have not fallen off him yet. Yeah. We've come pretty close a couple times, <laughs> but no, we haven't fallen off him yeah, yet. Yeah, he doesn't try very hard to get us off, so we're lucky with that. Yeah. <laughs> next 
question is, does Rumor like bananas? And we've actually never given him a banana before, but I'm sure he would like it because he eats like everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> we gave him one of those banana marshmallow candies though, and he like thought it was the weirdest thing. I think he liked it, but yeah. it was kind of hard to tell. It was hard to tell. I think the texture kind of threw him off. <laughs> Someone asked what our opinion of Appaloosas in the hunter ring was, and I think that it doesn't really matter what breed your horse is. Obviously there's some judges that may be biased and like the typical like bay thoroughbred type of hunter, but really if you have an Appaloosa and you want to show in the hunters, I think you should. Yeah. Well, now some questions from our Ask FM. Someone asked what's the highest that you've jumped on Rumor, and I think it's probably like two foot three or two foot six, but probably two foot three. Yeah. I like it. We're just jumping really small with him right now, but he's getting a lot better behaved, so we're working on a bit more complicated stuff now. So hopefully we'll be jumping a bit bigger soon. <laughs> Question is, how many pets do you have? And I guess we have three pets. We have a dog, a cat, and Rumor. Oh, we also have some fish. Oh yeah, a couple fish. Yeah. <laughs> The next question is, have you ever tried a horse treat? And no, I, I guess I tried a lick a treat bar, but it's not like, it was just like sugary, I guess. Yeah, I don't really ever plan on trying a horse no. treat, to be honest. <laughs> the next question is, do you want to live on a farm when you grow up? And the answer is yes. Yeah. I think like every horse person wants to, but yeah, we really just want to build a barn pros barn with living quarters on the top <laughs> so we can live on top of the barn and have rumor at our house. Yeah and mini ponies. That'd be pretty ideal. Yeah. And the last question is, would you ever do a meetup? We're not really sure that we'd have a lot of people that would want to go to a meetup, but definitely something that we'll think about in the future, I think. Um, yeah, definitely not anytime soon though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is all the questions for this video. We will definitely do more Q&As in the future if you guys like them. If we didn't answer your question, I'm really sorry. Um, if you have any other things you want answered, you can leave them in the comments of this video and we will answer them there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.